below there, YouTube. Sorry, that's a bit wrong, never mind. Um, yes, well, hello, YouTube. Today's little topic in our multicultural relationship series is going to be travel insurance. And why do we need it? Because some of the things that happen with travel insurance might not be getting what you think you have paid for. Uh, now, Beth and I can relate this from our own personal experience, where we were about to purchase travel insurance, and they were quite willing to sell it to us, and then we just happened to read the fine print that said, this assumes that you are an Australian citizen and or resident, of which Beth is neither. So, we went and did some uh, research and discovered that the travel insurance that we were about to purchase after a phone call was only able to give us travel insurance if she was a resident or a citizen. So, we made a few more phone calls to various different travel insurance companies and discovered pretty much the same thing. So I thought well we'll contact a travel insurance company in the Philippines. Well they can only insure her for the travel from Australia to the Philippines. They could not cover her while she was in the Philippines because she was a citizen of the Philippines so consequently was returning home therefore once she is in the Philippines she is classed as a no longer traveling so she's not covered which is a bit of a concern considering she had a fair bit of money in phones and cameras and all that sort of thing that were, that were not going to be insured so to cut a long story short after a bit of research we discovered a company called uh, Aussie Travel Cover I'll put the link up somewhere on the screen um, and they do insure give you travel insurance for non-citizens and non-residents to be able to travel in and out of Australia Um, their rates are quite reasonable um, obviously they're not quite as cheap as some of the ones that you will find online um, but then again they're providing a service that none of the others can they're providing the service of travel insurance for somebody who is not a resident and not a citizen so yeah you've got to pay a little extra but <laughs> Hey, at the end of the day, it's still so much better than if you had to uh, pay for all of the medical costs, etc. should the worst things happen. And let's face it, insurance is one of those things you purchase with the aim of hoping you never have to use it. So, on that note, um, I'll put a link up with the name down in the description box down below. Uh, it'll be right next to the, uh, down there with the, with the other links to places like What If, so if you're planning on travel, have a look at the uh, affiliate site for, for What If Travel, uh, and you might find yourself a really good deal, because we use them, um, and they're very, very good. Alright, well that's us for the day, and uh, later this afternoon we're going to go off to a food festival, so uh, we'll uh, make a short video there as well. But until then, have a great weekend. Bye for now.